what's something most people think is healthy today that future people will shake their heads at? The hustle culture. Not everything you do needs to make money. You should be able to have hobbies that stay just that, hobbies. It bothers my dad so much that I don't make a business out of my hobbies. But I want to enjoy them. I'm not hiding my talents I'm maintaining a healthy boundary between buisness and pleasure. Lack of access time in nature. Moved out of a city into a smaller town two blocks from the ocean with many bike trails and hikes within cycling distance slash a short drive. I couldn't be happier with the change. On the other hand, am now house poor, with greater than 50% of net income going to housing. Daily time in nature makes the change worth it. Social media. Am being super hypocritical, but we're gonna look back on social media today the same way our parents looked back on the time they smoked and said yeah, everybody smoked back then, it really wasn't a big deal. Yeah, we knew it wasn't good for you, but we still did it anyway. No, we didn't think of it as some sort of addiction. We just did it because that's what people did back then. I already believe that the majority of fitness influencers would benefit from counseling rather than advising followers on Instagram, so that's undoubtedly the case. Constant notifications and other distractions. Slimming drinks and soup peoplements. Going to be sooner than we think. The weight loss injectables by Novo and Eli Lilly are here or almost here. Projected $50 billion obesity market by 2030. The amount of our lives we share with strangers online thinking we're anonymous. The notion that natural automatically means healthier. All those weird trending diets. They'll have new ones in the future, not yet debunked in the public eye. Storing food and drinks in plastic. It's not that people find it healthy, but I think that screen time today is definitely much more dangerous during our lifetime than we already think it is. Low-fat products which predominantly were filled with high fructose corn syrup high sugar diets, and other things that lead to metabolic syndrome, partially hydrogenated oils. Some have recognized the dangers in this already but in 40 years maybe we'll see people look back and go they made all of this money at the expense of ordinary citizens' health. Cooking things in plastic, eating and drinking things out of plastic. Letting children have unlimited access to the internet and using the internet as a babysitter. 40-hour work week with generally unfulfilling jobs. Source, I'm a clinical psychologist. People thinking they're getting something out of social media and that it's not affecting them. The addiction hopefully will sometime be recognized at the same level of cigarettes. The current work-life balance some of us have. Five days with only two days off is not a good balance. Any juice that cleans your body, know your body does it itself. The unhealthy obsession with work. Grind, hustle, side hustle, etc. Sure, work hard when you work. But work someplace you can have a work-life balance that is healthy and doesn't demand too much of you. Low fat diets. There's been a really weird trend of people drinking alkaline water that has a pH of 9. 5 or some. Here's the truth about it. The second it comes in contact with your stomach acid, it's not gonna be alkaline anymore. The pH of your body is most likely fine, and if it actually isn't, you should be in an emergency room instead of listening to some snake oil salesman. Not healthy per se but ubiquitous in society today, plastic containers for everything. Most people don't realize the amount of microplastics in food and drinks will eventually cause serious health issues. If you are concerned about microplastics. Toothbrushes are literally plastics you rub on your teeth and you very likely ingest left microplastics even if you rinse your mouth with mouthwash. Very short video formats, TikTok, Instagram stories, YouTube shorts, and their impact on our attention span. Does anyone think that is healthy now? Microwavable plastics and all these plastics that store our food. Giving babies, toddlers, and small children unlimited access to tablets, phones, and screens in general. Even those that have limits, kids and babies on tablets is unhealthy for brain development. Opinions and advice on Reddit. Vaping, plastic packaging, social media. Letting children play American football. 40-hour work week. I would imagine fish, there are probably so many microplastics in those. Grind culture. You're not getting ahead, you're setting yourself up for a stroke from stress. Your health costs money too, especially mental well-being. Vaping instead of smoking. You're still filling your lungs with stuff that shouldn't be there in the end. Looks like more research is coming out about the risks too. It's not as bad as smoking, but it's got its own issues. It's fine if you're using vapes and e-cigs to quit smoking, but it's gone beyond that for quite some time now. Many people just exchanged one habit for the other. Spray tanning. At present, the use of polythene is causing serious damage to our environment. Therefore, the use of polythene needs to be reduced immediately. Living in highly insulated homes without ventilation. Cooking with Teflon pans. And yet I will die before I clean eggs off of stainless steel. Essential oils. Lots of silly pseudoscience. And it's probably pretty unhealthy to breath in aerosolized droplets of oil. 
the amount of sugar in food, the war on drugs, that if someone doesn't have a social media, it's a red flag. Breakfast cereal. Hey, thanks for subscribing and liking. It really means a lot to me. While you are here, feel free to hop on over to the last video. See you there. Ronnie.